What's up, carpoolers? Polaroid Pico's mobile vlogging unit is back, and we are in lockout effect. So it's a joyous time of year. Fall, my favorite time. Why is that? Number of reasons. First of all, by the time summer's over, I'm about done with summer. After a while, it just gets too hot and too humid. I want to sleep with covers on. I just kind of want to be all snug like a bug in a rug. But fall, air gets a little crisp. Just a little crisp to it. It's like, oh my goodness. Do I need to wear a sweater? Yes, I do. I'm not though, but I was earlier. I just didn't think the sweater looked right. It was white and just kind of like, what's up? You know, regardless. Another reason I like the fall is because this is the time when my favorite sport starts. Hockey for record scratch. Not this year, huh kids? No, no, no. NHL lockout. Hmm. Who's unimpressed? Everyone is unimpressed. Another hockey lockout? Really? 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 I'll admit that I don't really know all the ins and outs of the whole hockey lockout thing. I call it a hawkout. <laughs> so I'm not taking sides, all right? I'm just speaking strictly from a hockey fan's point of view. To me, it kind of sounds like millionaires fighting with millionaires over millions of dollars. Which, oddly enough, I've never had that experience in my life, ever. I've rarely been a thousand air. I'm lucky if I'm a hundred air. Right now, I'm a negative $38 air. So these dudes squabbling, oh sh I took the wrong exit. I want to go that way. Ah, damn it. Because the exit turns that way, I was like, oh yes, I'm going this way. Wait, it curls around like a curly fry and I'm going the wrong way. I'm really hungry. That's where the curly fry reference came in. This happens far too often, but I digress. And also, the hockey players are locked out. They're not on strike. So now they're all going to play overseas in Europe or in other weird leagues around the way. And you see interviews with them now, and they're always like out of breath because they just played a game anyway. And they're like, yeah, I really hope this gets settled. I do understand they're not making as much. Oh, I can't play here. I'll go play here. And I don't know how the owners make money or what they do or how they make their money, but I'm probably thinking that right now they're not hurting so bad. I'm going the right way now. But here's the thing. Here's the people I feel who are really getting hit hard by this. It's the people working concessions. It's the people who have the parking lots. It's the people selling the merch, selling the beer. And then there's also the fans. The fans are the people who pay for the parking, who pay for the $10 beers, who pay for the $8 hot dogs that are just like regular stupid hot dogs anyway. We buy the stupid merch. We go to every game even though our team never makes the playoffs ever, 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 ever. And again, I'm talking about something I know very little about. So if any NHL player actually comes up to me and confronts me about this, I'm going to fold like a piece of wet bread. But I will probably ask for an autograph and see if you'll come in here for an interview. So here's what I'm throwing out there, carpoolers. And I'm, I'm serious about this, I'm serious. That first game back, I want there to be a fan strike. Yeah, you heard me, fan strike. I want those guys to be playing to empty arenas. I want nobody cheering when they score. Nobody booing when there's a bad call. NHL fan strike, tweet it out. So carpoolers, I hope you like this rant. I hope you've subscribed to this and tell your friends to subscribe to this. Check me out on Twitter, and as always, please like the Facebook group. Join me for the NHL fan strike. Tell your friends about it, and remember, check your mirrors.